because the next bit here is a boss fight, I think. Like one of two boss fight, possible boss fights. short jaunts here paying off hopefully one big push But now I can go back to using that teleporter I st we unlocked a while back. You might have been some cash, but probably not. And... up yet, that's okay. Behind, so hopefully, I should get. Yeah. I attacked you, I back attacked you. I, I should get a sneak attack.
Oh, okay then. Yet. Go back rank. Drops them. Okay, here we go. What a pain in the butt. Field of vision is narrowing. What do you think is weakening? Deep malice is hanging in the air. Your mouth has a unique taste of blood in it. The spectacle I saw in the crystal surpassed my expectations. Sir Eugene Gistum, the man who signed his soul to the King of Darkness to overthrow the, the throne. Okay. Even wild dogs dare not come near here. 
all because of one mad man. Glancing over history, the start of the tragedy had many trivial things. But this is an example of one man's madness destroying the world. Now I finally understand the tragedy that has befallen our country. I have yet to, com yet to comprehend the true intentions of Ladua. Thinking of the people explains why Ladua was using inhuman reasoning. If people knew that the queen is missing, they would lose all hope. But still. Eugene stopped. He went into deep thought. Did the queen really perish in the flash? Even so, why does Ladua make no effort to rebuild Duhan? Is that not the will of the late queen? If he did that, I'm sure the people would accept him as the new king. In spite of that, why is he so obsessed with this labyrinth? What could possibly be the purpose of going this far? Be despised by many to deplete the treasury? If I am correct, the queen is alive. And Ladua knows that. All the pieces of the puzzle are slowly coming together. He winked at the monsters behind him as to give an order. Now it seems that I must meet Ladua and bring this tragedy to an end. Oh shoot. Okay. There's me help, man. So I just can just move forward. Just keep going forward. Hell away from the Reaper. Okay. Durgan. You stopped at the sound of a gentle voice that is supposedly lost in the flash. There was... <sighs> Durgan. It was because you were able to remember me that we were able to meet again. I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> From the time I became a soul, ever since then. Sophia, who you thought you thought you'd never reach speak uh, meet again, was standing within arm's reach. You gently reached for Sophia with trembling hands. But your hand went straight through. Alas, you can no longer touch me, but I can speak with you like this for a short time. I feel like this is a miracle. Compared to the time when I could just only just watch you fight and get hurt. Your chest fills up with emotions that cannot be expressed. With your memory regained, you now understand. You sacrificed her body in order to save you and Colgan. And he had been watching over you all this time. The fact that you are standing right here, right now, is undoubtedly thanks to her. When you tried to thank her, your, her face, face grew clouded. Stop it. I have no right to be thanked. I destroyed your peaceful life. If I did not get caught right now, you would still be living there peacefully. No apology would be enough. In spite of that, I'm speaking so that I can ask you to may ask you to do a very difficult task. She overlapped her transparent hands with yours. A flash of destruction that overcame Duhan. It was not just any magical destruction. It was a ritual. A ritual that extracts souls by destroying their vessels. The extracted souls become sacrifices to the sinister god. There are still souls that remain, unable to understand that their body was destroyed. And there are souls that remain due to their strong feelings. All of them will eventually assimilate with that god. Right now that god has an exalted soul. Only a few more souls and the god will resurrect. An exalted soul. It can't be. Hulgan, who kept quiet, suddenly turned pale. Her Majesty's soul. Please, Durgan, free Her Majesty's soul. Sensed it. This was her last wish. 
You nodded and she gave a slight smile. Durgan, thank you. Now I can. Sophia began to fade away. Asking you for a smile is kind of tacky. Um... Fear of quietly or ask for strength. Um... Ask for strength. Give you my remaining power. I believe in you. Give all the power to you, the Sophia, the sacred healer, faded away. You inherited Sophia's power. Jorgen. Colgington stands out to you, calls out to you as you stand there. I shall grant the final words of the Queen's Guard, Sophia. Use me as much as you like. You must save her majesty and stop the resurrection of that sinister god. You must respond to Sophia who protected us with her life. He shook Kulgan's hand with a mingling of emotions. Kulgan has been registered as a member. The item to your party at the tap. All right. See, so it seems I was getting it wrong. Your strength is not the heart that can resist fear and pain, but the calm heart that can develop and negate even darkness. Sophia's soul is limitlessly purer and stronger than anything. Even if it is death, it cannot harm her willowy soul. I feel I have been awakened to the truth. Truly strong are among the kind. If a priest is supposed to heal the hurt and strengthen the weak, Nida saw the model priestess. The danger you see isn't the job of a priest, priestess. Giving people happiness and smiles, letting them know that the world is overflowing with light. So teach people that, that, that is a priestess's true objective. Sophia must have been that kind of person. Those next to her felt kindness. I will grant priestess and Sophia's wish, even if it's the last thing I do. Oh, good. Hina actually gets a line here. Good. <clears throat> Here's what of Hina's beautiful eyes. There are those who go astray due to their feelings, and there are those who are tormented by not being able to express their feelings. I believe I understand. How hard it is to walk the path of righteousness concealing those feelings. It reminds me of picturing her older brotherhood to Timothy. Sophia was mistaken. She carried warm light within her body and walked all the way through. The power of love is so beautiful, so strong. One more time, I'd like to try to believe in the feelings of people. She wiped her tears. After wiping her tears, she smiled bashfully. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.